and gentlemen, makes in a very warm welcome to you here at the Bailbrook House Hotel. On behalf of James and Kerry, I would like to welcome you here today to share with them in their wedding ceremony. Through their vows, they will be making a commitment to each other and through your presence here, you are expressing your support for them. Who gives this woman to be married to this gentleman? I do. The place in which you are now met has been duly sanctioned according to the law for the celebration of marriages. We are all here today to witness the marriage between James Alexander Hodge and Kerry Ann Beach. If any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, he or she should declare it now. and Kerry. The purpose of marriage is that you may always love, care for and support each other through both joys and sorrows of life. Marriage requires closeness and a distance. Closeness of a couple growing together but enough distance to allow each partner to be an individual. Marriage, according to the law in this country, means the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. But more than this, marriage is intended to provide the love and friendship, comfort and support that each can give to the other through times of joy and sorrow and at times hardship. James, will you have Kerry to be your wife? to live together in marriage. Will you promise to be faithful to her and to look after her throughout your lives together? Will you love her not only in times that are good, but also more difficult times? I will. Kerry, your turn. Please answer I will, if that's the correct answer. Kerry, will you have James to be your husband, to live together in marriage? Will you promise to be faithful to him and to look after him throughout your lives together. Will you love him not only when times are good, but also through more difficult periods of your lives? I will. Kerry, <laughs> <laughs> I give you this ring. Kerry, I give you this ring. As a lasting reminder. As a lasting reminder. Of the promises we have made. Of the promises we have made. Here today. Here today. It represents. It represents. My commitment. My commitment. To cherish and respect you. To cherish and respect you. And be faithful and loyal. And be faithful and loyal. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. Just left that one. James, I give you this ring. James, I give you this ring. As a lasting reminder. <laughs> As a lasting reminder. Of the promises we have made. Of the promises we have made. Here today. Here today. It represents. It represents. My commitment. My commitment. To cherish and respect you. To cherish and respect you. And to be faithful and loyal. And be faithful and loyal. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. And before me. So I have very much pleasure in confirming that you are now husband and wife. You may kiss.
then we've now come to that time of the day where a few people would like to say a few words. Some a bit more reluctantly than others. <laughs> and to start us off, we've got the father of the bride, Mr. Jason B. Thank you. 
proud to call you my wife, and before someone says it, I know I'm planning to you. Nobody tell her. <laughs> Myself and the girls are lucky to have you around the house in everyday life. I really can't think of anyone I'd rather spend the rest of my life with, but I really love you, Mrs. Hodge. So, to the wife, get glasses in the air, people. Thank you, thank you. George! Yeah. This is George! George, welcome to the Hodges Ward! I just want to say, I love you, I adore you, and I thank you for your support and love you give me on a daily basis. You bring out the best in me, and you should make me happier than I ever thought possible. I couldn't be far more proud to call you my wife, and before someone says it, I know I'm punching, but you never can tell her. Ha ha ha.